Hello, my name is Rihanna, and I really like writing music which is inspired by books that I really like. <laughs> and so today I wanted to try and write some music themes that are based on books I really like. I've done this quite a bit before, but today I thought I would challenge myself to write three music themes within the space of one hour. So because of the hour restraint, I think that these music themes will probably be quite short, maybe around 30 seconds long, and they will just be snippets of an idea. Let's get started! <laughs> So the first book I've chosen is Before the Coffee Gets Cold. I've chosen this book because I think it is tonally quite specific. So Before the Coffee Gets Cold is a book about a coffee shop where you can travel in time. However, there are lots of restrictions. For example, you can only travel in time if you are sat in a specific seat in the coffee shop. Also, you must return before the coffee gets cold. It has a very whimsical, fun vibe. It reminds me of a Wes Anderson film and so I want to write a music theme based on it because I think that I could create something quite fun and enjoyable to listen to. <laughs> so I think we're going to go for some like staccato notes, um, maybe something a bit simple, um, not so dramatic, something that makes you feel like you're in a coffee shop having a good time. So I've come up with something quite simple, which goes like this. And this is played by playing an arpeggio in the C. And I'm playing the notes B and A with the arpeggio, which um, don't like perfectly match the arpeggio. So that contrast, contrast creates, creates quite a nice vibe. <laughs> But it is quite simple, so I think I need to add some other instruments to make it sound more interesting. So I'm gonna try and do that. So I've added a tuba and a flute, and the sounds together is really nice. It like itches my brain just right. Listen to this. Combined with the piano, um, it sounds quite good together. And what I've done is I've made the song gradually include more instruments. So it starts out with just the arpeggio and C, very simple. Then the right hand is introduced, then the tuba is introduced, then the flute, um, and it allows for quite a nice feeling. <laughs> so here it is, take a listen. So 20 minutes have passed, we're right on schedule. Let's go on to the next book. <laughs> and it's very hot today, so I'm sweating. Oh, oh, but I don't want to take a break because I want to try and stick to the um, hour, hour schedule that I set. So we're going to do My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Otesha Moshveg. This is a literary fiction novel about a woman who tries to sleep for a year because she's struggling with grief and depression. And it inspires me because I thought I could curate a lullaby type theme. But the story also has some very serious themes that it explores, so I don't want it to be like complete, a completely pleasant to listen to lullaby. I want it to also have some dark tones, some minor chords. So that's what I'm starting with. Let's see what I can come up with. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. So, um, I've created something. <laughs> um, at first I wasn't sure if it really was like what I was going for because it didn't really sound like enough like a lullaby, but I added a clarinet um, in the background and that really helped with the lullaby vibe. So this is just the piano and the clarinet together. 
and I feel like it's not as good as I wanted it to be. I feel like it, it uh, if I had more time, <laughs> I would make it sound better. But I think this experiment is not really about being perfect and creating the most amazing theme ever. It's about just trying to be creative within this hour. And this is what I've come up with. So here it is. <laughs> Okay, the next book I have decided to write a theme on is The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making. And I've chosen this one because thematically it is very clear. It is a fantastical book full of fairy tale imagery, full of imagination. And I think those kind of stories are so much fun to write music themes for. Some of my favourite music themes are based on fantasy stories such as um, uh, the Lord of the Rings, <laughs> The Shire, <laughs> I love that one, and also like Howl's Moving Castle and the Zelda theme song. <laughs> I think it's because when you're listening to music, you're escaping into your own imagination. And so music that is inspired by fantastical settings gives you a lot of opportunity to escape into your imagination. So I don't have so many ideas, I'm just going to start at playing around. <laughs> I did find this cool Celestial Voices um, pad on GarageBand, which sounds very fantastical. It sounds a bit like this. It's like a choir mixed with bells, and I think it sounds very dreamlike, so I'm going to try and include that. And other than that, don't have so many ideas, so I'm going to play around, see what I come up with. <laughs> So I kind of have something. It's very short, but the hour mark is approaching. So I've decided that the main theme is in the harp, because I think the harp has a very fantastical vibe. And I would love to say that was the music theme I just came up with. Unfortunately, it is not. <laughs> and here is the final music theme for you now. <laughs> So an hour has now passed. Actually, it's about 58 minutes since I started filming this video. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I think this was a great experiment to try and like challenge myself to write a music theme, to write short music themes within a short space of time, because I think it really challenged me to come up with new ideas. But I think for me, in order to curate a music theme that I'm proud of and that I really like, I think I need a lot of time to be able to do it because there are so many music themes, so many songs that are already written. And what tends to happen is I start playing something and I'm like, oh, that sounds like this song. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, oh, I'll just rewrite that song. But that's not really <laughs> ideal because then you've just written a song that already exists. And it's quite nice to have a snippet of an idea so that you have something to work from, I think. One of the hardest parts of making anything is starting because you're faced with a blank slate. It's also in a way one of the most exciting parts because there are endless possibilities. But it is quite nice to have that place to start from. So I hope you like these music themes. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if there are any books that you want me to try and write music themes for. Um, and I hope to see you in another video soon. Bye bye.